What's up, everybody? Bill with Honest Open Permaculture Hop Farm. Time to do an update on the chicken composting system. So you are watching me from inside the coop. You are sitting on a nice, warm, heated floor for the chickens. That's kind of what we've been wanting to do here, was heat the chicken coop and make a buttload of compost in the process. So far, so good. You were just in the coop. Let's go back in there and do a quick review. Look at this girl in there taking a bath, and some of them are laying eggs in their in their dust bath, which is not the greatest place, but at least it's in the coop, right? We're still getting a lot of eggs. No one has really slowed down in production yet. Um, I think it's because we have been warm. We have gone through some cold snaps, but on an average, we have been warmer than normal. And this coop is a lot warmer too with the heated floor. This composting in here, I can feel like I. I the girls will scratch it apart, just like I'm doing here. And I put my hand down in there, and it's definitely warm. So on a cold night, this is radiating heat, keeping them warm That when they're roosting. Here, let's go to bay two and talk about what we've been doing there. We did have it over here on this wall, and we moved it from this wall to here. About twice a week now, we're moving this pile back and forth. So we can get some air in it, so we can start to reveal these sprouts like this so the chickens can really go through it and eat them up like that. They absolutely love the sprouts. And plus when I pick up this compost pile completely, it reveals a lot of worms at the bottom of this compost pile that they get to have a little munch on before the worms dive down deeper. And I have been turning this in bay three as well. If you remember it was on this side and I'll turn it over here because again it needs some air. If it just sits there it's going to get anaerobic. We've been getting a good amount of rain lately so the rain will run through that, push the air out and it'll start to get stinky. And the more we move it the more it's going to break down also so just it's a better process. And let's just do a comparison. Comparison of all three spots. Here's bay three then we'll go to bay two and then bay one. So this is pretty dark. It's getting a lot more difficult to distinguish in between. Hold on one second, I'll grab my pitchfork. Let's open this up just a bit. Look inside here. I did put some straw on the pathway to kind of help get the moisture soaked up. So there's a little straw in here. It's not fine compost material yet, but it's breaking down a lot. It has broken down more than in, than in bay two. In bay two, you can definitely tell the difference here, here. This is more broken down, more of a finer, meshier, mushier stuff. This is definitely not. And then, where this girl is at? A lot like bay two. I have not put any carbon in the coop in quite a while. So that's one thing I'm gonna be doing today is stack up what's in here and then we'll add a little more leaves into this system. First I like to go right to the middle and kind of lift it up to get it some air before I start building the pile back on this, this center. Try to get a little air in that middle. And I can definitely feel that material is warm. It has been pretty warm here in North Carolina the past few days. It was 60 like two for Christmas. Today's in the 60s. For being in December, it's quite warm. So let's get this nice and aerated, pile it up a little bit and then add a little bit more. One reason I haven't checked the temperature in here and out there because it just hasn't been cold. <laughs> I mean, there's no need to see if I'm keeping them warm if, they don't, if they're not getting too cold, you know? It's barely getting below freezing overnight, upper 20s max. But in here, it's not getting below freezing. I don't know, I don't think we need to add any more actually, any more leaves. It's not stinking in here, so if it was getting anaerobic and stinky, I would definitely want to add some more leaves. But it's really not. I'm mixing it up. It's not stinky at all. It 
stay tuned to the end of this video. I'm going to be putting up a fix on the back wall to help knock that poop down in the coop instead of going onto the ledge. I'll be doing that at the end here. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and knock some poop off the back wall. Yep, we definitely have enough material in here. I'm glad I didn't go get more before I started doing this. All right, y'all. Let me go ahead and take you into tomorrow where I'll be putting in the poop slide. All right, y'all, we are ready to install the poop slide. <laughs> Pretty much what it is. I had some old backer board from some project or something. I just cut down the size. I'm gonna stick it right up in here at an angle and nail it in. So the poop will stop landing on the back wall back there on the flat, I don't know what do you call them, or they're not joists, um, the braces, the brace pieces I put in between the walls. All right, that's one up, right down there. Now we've got one more to put up right there. It's it's nice and snug sitting in there, but I'm gonna tack it in, just in case some of the girls try to get squirrely and get up on it or something. Let's see if I can give you a good angle. I'm not left-handed. Let's try this left-handed. All right. Hush, Billy. Shh. Shh. Thank you. The poop guards are in. We'll see how well they work. We'll give you an update on them next time. That's what they look like now. We'll see if they're covered in poop in the future. All right, guys. Thank you for following along on this compost condo project. And next week, I'm sure we're going to be putting Bay 4 into use that's behind you. So that means we'll be moving this stuff. The Bay 2 stuff, the Coop stuff, and we'll have the whole production in play. Let's see what that looks like. <laughs>